I've got all this black highlighter in my app. Jesus. The battery went off. I just died on Alright, I'm gonna take Ace Beauty. Beauty? <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're all doing well today. And today I wanted to do a dark, like a black eyeshadow look, like an edgy look. I've already done my eyebrows because I, I have folds on my eyelids, so I mixed the Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn, and I also mixed the P. Louise base in Ruma number no. 4 because number 4 was a bit too light for me. I don't like it that light. So I mixed the two to kind of give it that clean up look. What am I saying? I'm going to clean up the top of my eyebrows and I'm going to use the concealer NARS. And this is in the shade Dark One Cafe. And this is the color of my skin. I do not like to use a lighter concealer above my eyebrows. I just don't think it looks nice, in my opinion. And then I blend all this on the top. If you ever find like you've put too much concealer, you can, um, or any product, always take a clean brush, brush away the excess product. Taking a clean brush and just brushing away the excess concealer. So I'm gonna take again Fawn in uh, the LA Gal Pro Concealer Concealer. And I'm gonna mix it with P. Louise base in Ruma number no. four. Mix the two. And I'm gonna use that as my eyeshadow base. This is a new thing, I've never done this before. I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, Perception Palette. This is Shayla with ColourPop. And I'm gonna use the shade Culture as my transition shade. I'm gonna use Silma, Silma, Sigma brushes and this is E25. These are my favorite brushes of all time. I want that crease to be a little warmer, being a little redder. So I'm gonna go in with Thick Shade right there. And I'm using a smaller brush. This is from Morphe, this is M506. That orangish color was not doing it for me. I've switched to Natasha Denona. The Sun, this is a Sunrise palette and I'm using the shade Jasper. That's, that's the pop of color that I wanted with this look. I'm gonna put it on here and I'm using the same Morphe brush and I'm just blending that upwards, kind of on my brow bone right there. Okay, I'm gonna try this this method rather with makeup shyler. I'm gonna use a gel eyeliner because like I said I want to create a black eyeshadow look. I'm gonna use the Inglot, the black one. I'm gonna put that on my eyelid everywhere and then we will continue with the look. Yeah, I'm nervous about this one because I'm literally putting black on my eyelid. I'm gonna attempt first of all to get the shape of my eye and I'm using a flat brush see when I do that you really can't see it so for me I have to go a little bit higher oh, I messed it up <laughs> how do I look nuts oh well let's do the other eye this is a wet makeup wipe uh, this is from melt cosmetics and this is the dark matter and this is the black shade. I mean, this shade is black. Like, can't explain. And I'm gonna put it over here. I'm just part, parting it in. The eyeshadow, the black eyeshadow is just sticking on it. Seems like you have to act fast though because it is really, it's drying. Okay, if you wanna really get that sharp side, you can always flip the brush. Try and get that there but we'll blend it and I went back with this tiny brush that I had from Natasha Denona and I'm just going above the black line and blending even if it's really like stuck on there it's not going anywhere all right I'm gonna take Ace Beauty Beauty <laughs> uh, eyeshadow and this is Glimmer shadow and this is in the shade French vanilla I really really like these guys eyeshadows they are just fantastic and this silver nice shade and I'm gonna use my finger for this and I want to put this smack down in the middle of that and just give it that I'm 
I'm gonna use this sharp brush, flat brush. This is Sigma <laughs> Sigma Shader Lead E56. Oh yes, I couldn't get in. I really wanted that shimmer look. I wasn't quite sure how this black would come out, but it's looking good. I like it. And these eyeshadows, they are like um, it's like mousse, the shiva one. So it's not really like powder, it feels like mousse and I really really like how it feels. So I went ahead and I put in uh, just a regular black eyeliner and I'm smudging it out and I'm using Sigma Smudge Brush E21 to smudge it out. And the primer I'm using is this one from Maybelline and it's a master prime, the white one, blur and smooth. And I had already put a moisturizer on my face and some SPF. And I already put the primer up here on my forehead earlier. I'm going to use my favorite foundation, which is Lancome Tintadol in, I'm in the shade 500. And this might be my summer shade. I don't know. But I, we're going to use what I have on right now. And I put it too much as usual. <laughs> And I'm using Sigma Bake Kabuki F89 and I like this brush because it is tilted like this and it sits really flat on your face. Blend, 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 blend. I am going to use concealer. This is NARS. I'm in the shade Medium Dark 3 on Monday. Uh, I guess we'll put a little bit down here too. Just a bit is the damp beauty blender as per usual okay then I take the the bigger part of the beauty blender and I, and I stamp it in there and then I use take again the the sharper part make sure your beauty blender is not very wet because it's going to lift off the foundation and the concealer you've already put I'm gonna set that using Bond This Way Too Faced foundation and I'm in the shade chai if you've been watching my my videos you know that i do have dry under eye so i usually don't put in a lot of powder so that i don't look cakey and stuff just put putting that everywhere where we put concealer i'm gonna use fenty beauty and this is coco Nori as my bronzer don't want to put too much I don't even think this one really shows up on my skin tone, honestly, but just a little bit. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't quite a fan of how my eyebrows were looking. I don't really like my eyebrows to be too bright and it just doesn't look natural. So what I'm doing, I'm using just like a regular eyeshadow brush, which is a clean brush. This one is from Colourpop and I'm taking my Bomb This Way, the powder foundation that I used to set my concealer. And I'm setting that concealer that I used, um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and Rumor Number no. 4 that I mixed up. And I'm just setting that so that that brightness can go away. All right, I'm going to reuse the Adele Aqua Lashes. These are the new lashes that they have come out with. And this is number 345. Uh, if you watch my previous video, I used them and this is how they look like. Uh, and all they say is you hold them in for about maybe 12 seconds in water, uh, the band, and then you stick them in and I'll be right back. This is the water and you just dip in. I'm, I'm not gonna wear a top liner because I feel this, this look is already dark enough. I twisted my hair again using Ginny Love the hair butter and I also used the hair mist. I'll be back. Let me go and twist this. All right, so this is the hair growth mist. This is from Genie Love and this is the hair growth butter that I used. Because the bottle is so big, I put it in this little bottle so it's easy for me to spray. All right, you can see it, it really it held the curls pretty well let me like this i'm i'm feeling where my curl is and 
and twisting it without causing any freeze. I like this. I like this a lot. I think I'll leave it at that. I like I like how this is looking right now. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my bottom lashes and I'm using the telescopic mascara in carbon black. I'm gonna use Colourpop. This is Shayla and Colourpop and this is this is BFF4. Oh and the Genie Love products for the hair uh, they are based in Nairobi, Kenya. Hit them up on Instagram. I'm gonna use a moo uh, blah. I'm gonna use this merengue lipstick and this is from Bite Beauty and it's like a pinkish shade. I was debating if I should go dark lips, but then there's too much going on in the eyes. I'm gonna give the lips a nude look. You could go like this, but I wanna add a gloss. This is from Pauline Cosmetics, also from Kenya. So this is caramel. And it's, it's, I like it, it's two glosses in one. What, the one I'm gonna use is like clear, the other one is like brownish, nudish, look. To finish everything, I'm gonna use my favorite setting spray and this is from Morphe, the Continuous Setting Mist. Mm. I love this fan, I got this fan from Togo, very nice love my african prints that's all i had for today this is a look i have never attempted i'm actually pretty impressed with these aqua lashes from adele this is number 345 and they are really really fun by the second use they're really um they're actually sticking on the eyes properly um looking at this lash i think i should have put it a bit lower but it's okay. So let me know what you guys think about this look. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and as usual be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Bye.